Hey guys, I decided to do something different for now aside from the CPP from scratch series that uh, by the way if you didn't watch it yet you can watch it using the link on the screen but at this time I'm gonna do something let's say a little bit more challenging I just decided to implement a simple student management system but with a little twist I'm not going to use any character that data type and I am also not going to use any casting in my program. Why I did this? I just thought that it would be fun and it's a little bit of a challenge. If you wanna know how I did it, just follow up this video and you can learn all about it. For this little project, I firstly need to find a way to store the data and also interpret the data that will, would normally require strings or characters. For example, you would need strings to store the student name or uh, the name of the subjects that he is attending. I did this by going back to the basics of programming. As you all probably know, every data in programming is actually an array of bytes. For example, an integer that is interpreted on a 32-bit system is actually 4 bytes long. If you read all those 4 bytes at once, you will get that integer. Now, for my problem, in C++ and in programming in general, every single character is 1 byte long. So, as you probably already figured out, I have created an array of bytes, actually. So, in this way, I can let the, the user actually input characters and I'll store all those characters in my array of bytes without having to, to perform any explicit conversion there. For now, this covers the problem of storing the characters that I need in order to have the name of the student, for example. In order to output the information to the screen, I have given the output stream actually the first address of the bytes array. This will perform an implicit conversion and the output stream actually thinks I have given a pointer to a char array. Our student will have a name, age, gender and also the grades stored for all the subjects that he is attending. All the data that should be a string is actually stored and interpreted using the alias for the bytes array. I have also set up some code in the main function in order to check my progress so far. After a bit of debugging and solving all the little issues, here is what we have until now. We have some text on the screen and we can also add the name but we cannot add any other data for the student. This happens because the input stream is getting a different data type than what he is expecting. And also we didn't add any condition to stop at the new line. Now that we got this out of our way, time to add some more modules into the mix. I have started to create the student's controller which will actually use as the backend for our system.
this is actually pretty simple and standard and has nothing special about it. It is the same as you would create any other student management system. There is only one more module that I want to add into this mix and that is actually the user interface one. I have decided to just add a simple user interface so it won't be a graphical one but yeah it's just using some messages to the output stream and also getting input from the user via the input stream. From here on out, after finishing the user interface, this won't be anything special and it's just going to be me adding more features to the program and giving the user more choices. I'll just keep very fast through the rest of the process and show you the finished product. As promised, here is the finished product, as you can see you have many options from which you can choose and everything is working accordingly. Of course it can be refactored a bit because it's not the cleanest code, but yeah, I haven't used any character or string data type for the entire project development. Don't forget to press the like button if you enjoyed the video, also share it to all your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos from me. Please leave a comment below to tell me your thoughts about this video.